All right, this is Alan Robertson here with Knowing You. And I would just like to take a couple of minutes to talk to you about the Colin Kaepernick situation. I have listened to the interview. I then stopped and really listened to it again to make sure that I, was go I wasn't going to make any mistakes about it. He made a stand. People are asking why now? Well, it seems that he thought about it. He found a plan and he found a nice effective way to carry that plan out. It seems it was a good plan. You don't like how he did it, but he didn't threaten anyone and he didn't deter anyone from going to work or doing their work. You have a choice or whether, of whether to listen to it or deal with it. That is effectiveness. That is what a good plan does. He is using his position to try and bring about a change. Where is the problem in that? Trump uses his position, his wealth, as well as Oprah, Will Smith, Tim Tebow, etc. Have you noticed I didn't name Alan Robertson, Eric Jackson, Byron London, Ethan Williams, Monica Hewitt, Jamonto Willis, Jay Ellis, or Rihanna Hunter? I didn't name any of them because they are people I know, my friends and family, people that you don't know. See, we have no real pool. We don't have a real platform with thousands of followers that will help us spread the word. This man has seen a problem and is trying to help. Tell me, what are you doing? People have been picking and choosing what part of his interview to try to attack to further, uh, to further their agenda on his speech. Well, it seems you are missing it. Just as, the as he mentioned the military, he didn't denounce the military. He didn't say anything negative at all about the military. He actually praised them and spoke on how they are treated negatively in this country also. See, you have picked the military and what they do here to try to twist his things around. See, those are the words that you chose, not him. He mentioned police brutality. Now, are you still out there denying that there is a po police brutality problem? Are you still denying that black Americans seem to be a target? He is addressing what is being said and seen by black Americans and others today. He is speaking of awareness and accountability. He is speaking of oppression and black Americans being treated differently in a country that is theirs and is, and is all they know. He is speaking of natural born citizens of this country, our country, being treated as outsiders. The fact that black Americans, which there should not even be a distinction between black and white Americans, because at this point we are all just Americans. I'd like to speak on Tommy Lauren for a second. I apologize if I pr pronounced her name wrong. I usually see something coming from you when there is a racial issue. Maybe that is your shtick, I'm not sure. Or maybe that is the only time you really matter. You use your position to further your agenda just as this man is doing. Yes, your agenda is political and it furthers your career. You make a stand off of other people's stands. You claim white this and white that in this commentary of yours that we just heard and he clearly didn't say white anything. He said America and this country, not white America. Maybe you should look at yourself because evidently something is leaking out of you. He didn't say he hated the country. He is not proud of what it is doing, just as you are not proud and happy about what he said. He is not speaking necessarily for his oppression, but the oppression of black people. So you went off base with this one. Now in closing, he has said he is not standing because he is not proud of what is going on in his country. What the flag seems to be standing for at the moment, that is what he is not standing for. He didn't say he hated this country or the people that fought for it or lived in it. He is not proud of what is being represented here. See, I am a Cowboys fan. I believe that Jerry Jones and Tony Romo are not good for the Cowboys. I believe that they should change the way they're doing things and not be there. I don't have faith in them. That does not stop me from being a cowboy fan. The star on their helmets has been marred because of their actions on the field and off the field. Get it? Colin's statement do not stop him from being an American or loving his country. He just doesn't appreciate what the flag is standing for right now. And those of you who cannot see that 
and are picking little bits and pieces of his commentary and running with it, maybe you should look at yourselves and see what you're really standing for or talking about. This is Alan Robertson with Knowing You.